Let's get to work and make this Black Friday your biggest growth opportunity yet, right? The first thing, we want to crush it with value-driven content. What does that mean? What does that look like? Here's the thing. If you want your Black Friday video to just pop, you've got to cut the fluff and just dive straight into delivering the value. Why? Because at this time in Earth's history, people are overwhelmed and they're not looking just for another generic video, right? They need fast answers and real solutions to their problems. So here's the goal. You're going to pick one problem that your audience is facing right now. And remember, start framing your mind, right? Think bigger, think bigger. Start framing your mind for whatever it is that you do. I know David does music. I know Yolanda um, has the Ravens channel, Ravens Talk with Yolanda. Start thinking as we go through these, how will this fit to me? Because I'm telling you, every niche can, this will apply for any niche that you're in. So you pick one problem that your audience is facing right now and you focus Focus in on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to give them to tools to solve it with no wasted time, no wasting time, no hemming, no harm. You're going to get right to the point of the video. That's how you crush it with value driven content. You want it to be clear. You want it to be direct and you want it to be impactful. You want that comment to come under that video to say, thank you for getting to the point, right? Thank you for not taking me through hills and valleys and ads and everything else just to get what I needed. And guess what? They're going to hit that subscribe button. They're going to hit that like button. And nine times out of 10, if they're like me, I'm 99.999% sure I'm going to share that with someone else and say, hey, if you had this problem, go to this channel go to this channel, right? So what's your goal? Your goal is to leave them thinking, wow, that was exactly what I needed. I didn't, they got right to the point. They weren't trying to sell me anything. They weren't trying to fluff me. They weren't worried about their look, their appearance. You know, if you stumble over your words, that's why I love doing live stream, right? I cannot sit behind these three screens and record and just go over and try and get words per. I just don't. Right. I, I just don't. Right. I can't. I can't do it. So I just love the effect of real and live stream. You know, and my daughter was telling me she was like, I'll be downstairs and I'll try and be quiet. I'm like, look, we live in this house. We just have to keep it real. If people hear sounds and oh, hey, this is real time in real life. So we give people what they want. So they'll keep coming back for more. So you pick one big problem that your audience faces this Black Friday. And whether it's finding the hottest deals or even skyrocketing their sales or how um, they want, if you're into health, how uh, what's the best vegan recipes? What are the best cooking supplies? You know, if you're vegetarian, uh, the top 20 highest protein meals, right? We're going to get into that part a little bit more though, right? Real Florence, that's what people want. So then your next step, you're going to script a video Script a video, right? Because if you're like me, Florence and I were talking about this the other day on the stream. Script it. Don't be afraid to script it. Do I have my notes here beside me? Yes, I do. Does Yolanda, Yolanda would take, look, hold on. I don't have my notes. I got my notes, right? I'm not going to sit here and try and be polished like all of these thoughts are all of these points, right? I have my notes here and I also have my backup notes there because we always want to keep paper notes in case technology does us wrong, right? So you want to script a video that delivers fast solutions, no filler, no fluff, just the answer to whatever that problem is. Then you want to use a bold action pack thumbnail. Think boost your views now, right? Then title and SEO. Be direct and hit their pain point and hit it hard. You want to listen, right? Listen, if your video title isn't grabbing them by the collar and saying, hey, 
click on this, right? Watch me now. Watch me now. That is the effect that you want. Think about when you're scrolling through and you're looking for something specific and you just see that title and you're like, bam, that's it. That's it. And it may be another video that cuts the fluff, cuts the filler and gets right to it. But because it's not titled right, it didn't draw you in. It didn't have the right keywords, right, Florence? Without my notes, I'll be left and off on a cliff, right? Y'all know, look, I keep the Holy Spirit beside me at all times. And a lot of the times he has to nudge me and be like, <clears throat> keep, it on, keep it on track because I will go left, right? So you want that video title. And you want it scripted out so you your thoughts are clear, you know your points, and you're able to just deliver what it is they're wanting and send them on their way, right? And you need to be clear, direct, and hit the pain point right on the head. Think about your audience. What are they struggling with right now? And you want to use your title to promise the solution. You're not just going to promise it. You're going to deliver what they're desperately searching for. Skip the cute or the clever stuff. We see so much of that. We see so much cookie cutter, cute, clever, bubble gum, popcorn candy across YouTube. Skip the cute, skip the clever. Just get straight to the point. And your SEO, your keywords need to also come behind as the backing force to back that up. Use keywords. The exact keywords. Think about when you sit down to look for something. If you look back through your YouTube history right now, what did you type in to search for? Think in that mindset when you're sitting down to start putting your content together. What would this person that wants Raven's gear, what would they type in to search for? Let me deliver that and put that as a keyword in my title. So if your title doesn't scream, click me, they will scroll right on past. So let's make sure that that doesn't happen. And we always want to make sure that our title and our SEO, those are our heavy lifters. They're doing the heavy lifting for us. So it, for example, this video is all about Black Friday YouTube growth strategies, right? So instead of something vague like, well, let me just give you a few tips, the top five tips for YouTube growth. No, go bold and direct, right? Boost your YouTube channel this Black Friday with any niche, right? So th that's the way you want to lay it out. Just go right in. Don't try and make it cute. Just tell them exactly what you're going to give them, but make sure you have everything lined up to deliver 199% on that promise. So think about the keywords that people are actually typing like Black Friday YouTube tips or grow my channel fast, right? Work these into that title and into the description because when we use the exact phrases that they're searching for, your video is way more likely to pop up in their results. People say the algorithm is suppressing me. The algorithm, algorithm is holding me back. No, algorithm don't have anything to do with it. We're holding ourselves back. So it's just time to key in, hone in, and use these simple tips. And they do work. How do I know? If you go back and look at how I've organically grown this channel using these same things and even videos that I've posted way back as uh, Doc calls them the ugly videos, right? Those videos are starting to climb now. And if you notice throughout the channel, Things are now being organized into playlists. All of the thumbnails are slowly changing. So they just go right to the point instead of the cute rhyming th uh, titles and things that I tried to come up with initially, right? So remember, if your title isn't clear, the high probability is that they will move on. And that's not what we want. We want to make it so irresistible. They're like, I have to click this. I have to see what Florence is talking about. I have to see what David is talking about. And I actually stopped the other day and watched David's video on exactly what is MIDI. I actually watched the whole video and it was well done, David. So you want to craft a title that oozes urgency, right? Don't miss these Black Friday growth secrets, right? And these are your checkpoints under there. Then you want to load up your title 
and your description. A lot of the times we just slap something cookie cutter under description, paste and go, paste and go. You want to be intentional with your description and your title. Trending Black Friday keywords, trending keywords that are related <clears throat> to your specific niche, that pain point that you're trying to hit. That's what th that's the goal. And you can use things like TubeBuddy or VidIQ. Then you want to slam a clear call to action, a clear CTA in the first line of your description. For example, subscribe for more power pack tips or click the link, continue to follow, right? You want to put that call to action right there because if it is not there, Right. How many times have you been in a conversation and someone will say something and you're like, oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. So we have to put that reminder there just the same. Give a clear call to action. Right. And here's why you want to stick around for this whole live stream, because at the end, guess what? Guess what? I will be dropping a link in the description where you can go and download a free copy of the Black Friday YouTube Growth Checklist. This way you can print out your copies and as you're going through building your content, all of this that you're trying to take notes or come back for the replay, you will be able to just download the ebook and, and go through and have that checklist that you can go through and start planning out your Black Friday content. And this checklist is going to give you everything that we're covering here today. And you know me, I threw in something a little bit extra so you can hit the ground running with your own Black Friday strategy. And as soon as I end the live stream, I will go back in the description of this video on YouTube and put in at the top, free ebook download, and it is all yours, right? So whether you're in tech, whether you're in beauty, whether you're in sports, lifestyle, this checklist has got you covered. You welcome, Yolanda, Team E. Can I got gotcha. you. Just tornado effect. Did you hear the intro? I am here for you. I am here for all creators because I've been there. I understand the pain points. I've downloaded these free ebooks that promise all of these things. And when I open it, then it says, but this was to just get you started. Now you need to go buy this, this, this. Mm -mm. No fluff in it. It gets straight to the point of everything that we're covering here tonight, right? Number three. You want to engage like you mean it. Turn views into super fans. If you want views to turn into real loyal super fans, right? You have to engage like it matters. Why? Because it does. Everyone wants to be seen. Everyone wants to feel heard. This isn't just about responding to comments, right? Or putting a heart uh, liking on a comment. It's about creating that two-way conversation between you and your audience during your live stream. Ask questions, right? Call out viewers by name and let them know that they are seen. And when your audience shows up authentically, they begin to feel connected. You start to build a community like Yolanda. You know, she has Hendo over there handing out indictments, you know, on her channel. <laughs> You know, so it, th she's building a community. So that's what you want. Authentic. That's what, and let me tell you, people can see through the fluff, right? And that's what turns casual viewers into super fans, into building a community who will follow you beyond Black Friday and just keep coming back for more. Remember, people support channels that make them feel a part of something that's real. So engage with intention and build your community, right? People are done with the fake. People are done with the fluff and they see right through it. So if you want real engagement, you have to be real. You have to show up earlier. Yolanda, I mean, it caught me by surprise. Yolanda was out back <laughs> on her live stream and a bee came up to take her life from her. And the way she hopped up, right, she kept it real with her community. She's like, I got to go. I, I may have to hit this button and end this live, right? So real engagement. You have to show that you're a real person. You have real emotions. You may stumble over your words. You may not get everything exactly right. There may be something falling down in the background, but you're delivering the content, right? That, that bee was vicious. 
It was, right? The, I love you too, Delisa. I do. I do. And I know Apollo's over there somewhere, right? So that's the real engagement that we want. That's how you build trust and turn casual viewers into family, community that actually stick around, that actually wait and look forward to saying, okay, David's coming on at 5 a.m.? You know, and and, and my first live stream, Monday through Friday, is at 5.30 a.m. People come each morning. The community is continuing to grow. Why? Because it is real and it is genuine. And again, there's no fluff. We get straight to the point. I'm not hemming and hawing and not fleecing, fleecing God's people, right? So that's what we want to be able to keep it um, real always. That is the important key. Don't lose our way listening to them, they, he, she, it, whatever pronoun you want to put there. Keep it real. So when you uh, here's one, and, and and I may get some backlash for this, but you know what? I I'm standing ten toes down on it. When you only respond to super chats or our members, you you're creating a false sense of, of FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. Like their voice only matters if they pay up, right? Now you you know this is ministry first, media and marketing on this channel. My question is, did Jesus do that? Mm -mm. No, he did not. He did not. He showed up for everyone. There were no paywalls of exclusivity to the father, right? So if you want to build a real community, treat every viewer like they matter. Why? Because they do. The second you drop, the only if you pay attitude, that's when you can start building that loyalty and trust, right? So people don't want to feel like they have to buy our attention. They have to do enough of that out in the world, right? And that's a big part of the problem. I know, all right, see the Holy Spirit saying, stay on the script, right? Because he already knows, right? This is one of the things, right, that just disturb, disturbs my shot on her, right? So people don't want to feel like they have to, uh, to buy attention. They just want to feel seen and heard, period. Right. So open your video under the topic of engage like you mean it. Checklist point number one, open your video with a pain point, with a question. You know, in the morning times, what do we start with first? Usually a question of the day as we go into the lesson. Right. So uh, open it with a pain point question. Sick of struggling for views this season and then drop a mid video engagement prompt. Stop and comment your biggest YouTube struggle right now. What is the biggest struggle that you are having? Where are you not seeing the growth that you want to see in your channel? And of course, use that community tab like a pro. You don't realize how you can build uh, build authentic. You can build community. That's what it's for, the community post, right? And you can bring excitement. You can bring engagement through polls and countdowns, right, to your upcoming Black Friday content. Number four, blow up your reach with shorts. Let me be straight with you, family. If you're not using YouTube shorts right now, you're sleeping on the biggest growth hack that is out there. Shorts are blowing up. And the algorithm, now when it comes to the algorithm on this, they're pushing them like crazy. So it's a golden ticket to being able to get in front of way more people without spending hours on a full video. And here's the best part about the shorts. It's quick, it's raw, and you don't need to be perfect. There are so many editing tools that you can just take and, and either just record your short or you don't even need, just grab your phone. Record it, boom, upload it, good to go. You can add your, you know, it, whatever you want at the end of it, but just get it out there. Don't wait and try and say, oh, I have to make it perfect. Record it, put it out there. Just grab your phone and share one extreme, extremely valuable or a time-saving tip for your audience. And then what's the next step? Post it. Stop over thinking it. We overthink ourselves out of not making any action, taking any action, right? David says, I squirrel with the best of them. Squirrel. <laughs> it, it happens. It does happen. And you know, that's the one thing when we're going through, right? 
If it doesn't grab our attention, what do we do? We swipe on to the next one. Boom, boom, boom. But then when you get caught up on, you go to a channel like Diana Gladney. Man, when I land on one of her shorts, I end up swiping the other direction. I'm like, wait a minute. I need a little bit more of this, right? Because not only does it bring you in, but you're like, well, wait, if I got that much value out of this real raw value straight to the point, she has to have some more. So that's the way that we want to deliver. Just stop overthinking it because the more that we sit and spend time thinking, nothing gets done, family. So shorts are how we get our content out there and just grab the attention now. And if you want to grow, this is your move. So don't wait. Just get it done. YouTube shorts can now. Thank you. Thank you, YouTube. You can now make them 60 seconds. You can do 90 seconds. Or if you're long-winded, like I can be, my friend V says, girl, you can't do nothing in 20 minutes, you know, and I've come to terms with that. Because one day I said, I'm going to try and have this broadcast done in 20 minutes. I just can't. Right. So it gives you 60 seconds, 90 seconds or three minutes long to get your content out there. But just start with 60. Start with 15. Start with 10. Start some way. I believe it has to at least be 10 to register as a short. I think that's right. Isn't it right, Yolanda? David? Or Florence has to be at least 10 seconds for it to register as a short or is it 20 seconds? But just make the content and get it out there. Someone is waiting. And because as a creator, this gives us more flexibility, right? Shorter clips, 15 to 60 seconds, get more rapid engagement. Let's see. I haven't posted a video or a short. Can I delete or redo? Yes, you can, Delisa. Yes, you can. Maybe, maybe. Holy Spirit, give me the next one, right? Because you guys know that's how I move. I say, what is it? What is the next topic? I just don't sit down and throw spaghetti at the wall to see if it sticks and if it's done, right? I only move under the guide. And everything since last, when we came on last Thursday, was towards Black Friday and engagement. And I always wait. I said, you're going to have to give me three signs. What is the next topic? So this top, this is how I came to this topic this week. So in coming up, we can maybe go through how to do those shorts right from the phone. Because I can actually connect my phone and think. Thank you, Ecam, and show you my phone screen as we go through and do it live time, right? So from this, here's your point, your checklist point, create three to five high energy shorts that tease your main video. So like this video, you will probably see it chopped up into shorts, but it's going to bring them back to this main video. And actually, this video will be split into two different segments once I'm done. There's a reason for that as well. So you want to create three to five high energy shorts that tease your main video. Give them the quick results and the quick win. Give them the solution in that open up. Don't gatekeep. Give them exactly what they're looking for. And you want to start with a strong hook right like three game-changing tips before Black Friday lands three game-changing pieces of gear to wear to the game because I think it get cold it's cold up there where you learn is at right three um, pieces of gear to keep you warm at the next Ravens game whatever it is right? Three pieces of equipment to keep your music studio running properly and just give it to them. One, two, three. All right, catch y'all next time. That's the way that we do it. So you want to direct viewers, give them enough and direct them back to your full video. That way you can maximize those views. The next step, number five, you want to analyze, you want to adapt, and you want to go all in. Because here's the thing, if you're not analyzing your content, we're just guessing. We're just throwing the spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. And guessing doesn't grow a channel. We have to look at the data, right? What's working? What's falling flat? Where are people dropping off? Where do I see high spikes? What time? What time is my community watching my content? And then you have to look at why, right? So check your YouTube analytics like it's your playbook, right? See where viewers are dropping off, what's driving the clicks and what content is blowing up. And once you know this, the next step, you adapt. 
tweak your thumbnails, refine your hooks and try different formats. We often get stuck in the rut of, well, this is the way that they taught me in the class. This is the way that they do it. Mm -mm. Do not get stuck doing the same thing if it's not working. You have to pivot and you have to pivot fast. David said... <laughs> David said, is your glasses a different color? I just picked up on that. I need to get different color glasses. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And I will put a link for that also down in the description. I can change out all of the fronts, right? So, <laughs> yes, I love it. And I don't have to buy 10 different pairs of glasses because I have one, two, three, four, five, six different frame fronts over there. And I have a couple of others over um, that I keep in my dressing room over there. But yes, you're able to just change them out. And they do have them in men and women. And the beautiful part about it is I was able to sit right here. This, see, here go a video right here. Want to change your glasses without buying 500 different pair? <laughs> hey, there it goes. Let me show you the easy way i tell y'all so don't get stuck doing the same thing if it's not working you pivot and you pivot fast then here's the kicker when you find what clicks what works you go all in double down make more of that winning content and you just ride the wave of momentum and this is how you start to build that real unstoppable growth right? Don't be afraid. Stop guessing. Start analyzing and commit. It's time to go. What do they say? It's time to go all in or go home. Shut down shop. Analyze, adapt, and go all in. And a quick reminder, if you want to make the most of these strategies, hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss these type of tips because I go under the Matthew 419 principle. My words say, and I got to hit this one. I got to hit it. I got to hit what it. What is it in the rule book? Five. What does it say in the rule book? Matthew 419. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And I go under the principle of, I would rather teach you how to go out and fish and feed yourself for a lifetime. There's no reason for me to gatekeep any of this information or put some outrageous price tag on it. We're all here as a community to grow and work together. We are called to service, right? And that is the premise of this channel. Ministry first media and marketing so by giving it all to you opening up the floodgates and saying here you go go out and make yourself a fisher of men with your content that's how i do it around here uh -huh. so don't go anywhere because at the beginning remember i said i'm going to share the link to the download this exact same checklist that you'll be able to print off for yourself that i'm using today it's easy to print simple to follow there's no fluff in it i believe it's about eight nine pages right because i wanted to make the text big enough because some of us you know without these glass it's hard to see right so that is why that's it that's it david hunt ministry first media and marketing it's the only way I know. So how would they say? That's the only way I know how to roll, right? So you don't want to miss that link. So we're almost coming into the gate, family, because again, I want to respect your time because this guide is packed with everything you're going to need to level up your channel in any niche. I'm telling you. So by the way, if you're ready to stop guessing and start growing, there's a link also to vidIQ in the description. I use vidID. It's one of the things that I drive heavily alongside my chat GPT marketing team, right? It's an amazing tool that will help you analyze your data. You will be able to look at channels that align with your channel and it gives you what they're doing, what they're doing right. And you're able to measure up and see, man, where am I missing? Where am I missing the mark? It will help you analyze that data. It will help you find the right keywords. And also it gives you real time insights without having to go over to, um, what's that channel? Shark, shark. Um, I want to say groove shark, but that's the music channel. It'll come to me, bring it to me. Holy spirit. There's a channel that you can go over to look at comparisons of other channels that fall under what you're doing to see how they're measuring up. But this tool, vidIQ, will give you the real-time insights that you need, and it rides and works right in your browser while you're actually in YouTube, right? Plus, 
Using that link, I have to give the disclaimer, it does support me as an affiliate, which helps to keep these broadcasts going strong. So if you want to give it a try and we level up together, right, the link will be there for you. And actually, I think... Do I have it? Nope, I don't have it. It will be in the description, right? So then the next thing, you want to check the analytics every single day. Spot the spikes and double down on what is crushing it. But here's the thing. we, we Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't get lost in the sauce. Then you want to tweak your thumbnails and your titles based on viewer response, right? Don't be afraid to experiment fast. Don't say, man, I spent three hours on that thumbnail. I really thought it was going to work. If you need to change it, change it. Make the adjustments. That's the great part about it. They do not charge us for edit. You know, if you have a graphic designer, they say, hey, you get two free edits. Some now say you get one free edit and every edit after that is $5, $10. Some go up to $15 or $20 after you pass your life. You can always go back and tweak what you need. Right? Delisa says, what a blessing. Can't thank you enough. We'll pay it forward. Shark bait. Brouhaha. Yeah. Man, you know, the other thing. We have to remember to share our wins. Share our wins with our audience. Let them know. Let them know that they're in this growth journey with you. And speaking of, speaking of, I had posted it the other day. I want to take a second and just say thank you right now. And I mean you, each of you individually. Why? Because on November the 4th, 2024, heaven and earth both recorded that we hit 450,000 views. I couldn't have done it all on my own. And I thank each and every one of you. I truly do. That's huge, right? And it's not just a number. What does this mean when I look at it? It shows me it's a sign that the community is growing and that the work that we're putting in together, it is paying off. I see you showing up. Many of you at 5.30 a.m. faithfully, Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for our First Light Reflections daily devotional. And now that I've split off and I'm doing the Just Tornado Effect and giving you the media and the marketing and helping you to realize that you can do it. You can have that business you want that podcast that you want to start and it starts just as simple you don't have to have all of this equipment that I have in here all of this you don't need it you have you and your mobile recording device so I see you showing up I see you hitting the like button I see you subscribing and engaging in the comments and I do not take that lightly this is milestone is as much yours as it is mine. And I thank each and every one of you for being here with me and making this happen. Let's just keep pushing forward because let me tell you, just tornado, we're just getting started, right? So here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. The biggest mistake that you can make once you leave this stream is waiting too long not taking any action, not making a decision that is still making a decision. You made the decision not to make a decision. Black Friday isn't the time for hesitation. It's about speed. It's about action. So hit that publish button and get your content out and continue to refine it as you go. Momentum is everything right now. For one, we don't know when our time is up. So leave your mark. The world wants to hear what you have to say. Do it ugly. Do, hey, do it however you need to do it. But just fulfill the purpose, the mission that is given to you. Just so